So guys, today back from another video on the channel today. We're here for the first week of NUFC news. I used to love doing this series. I've done it for the last couple of years now, probably since about 2019, and we're bringing it back yet yeah, again. It's going to be a weekly series. Don't know when it's going to be. It's basically going to be all the news from Newcastle United in a week. We're going to be speaking about transfers, transfers that have happened, just general news stuff, ticket information, training, pre-season games, all at the start of the season, and potentially all the way up to basically when the transfer window ends. It's going to be a, a good little series. I can't do too many videos and stuff like that when news comes straight out because I'm always at work or I'm doing something else. Um, it's really hard to to get the videos out as soon as possible, but I like doing the little sit-down videos. We get to speak a bit, get a chill out, and we get to find out some N NFC news here from Binksy. So the first thing I want to touch on is the pre-season games coming up for Newcastle United. We've got them all announced now, and I can't see any getting thrown in there. I think these will be our pre-season games going into the games um, for the Premier League next season. So as we all know, on Saturday we play Gated uh, uh, behind clo uh, behind closed doors friendly um, at the training ground. Don't expect there to be a, a whole blown game. I don't expect we to play the best players. A couple of young players will get played, but it'll just be a run out for the lads. We're not expecting to to do much it, it, against Gateshead, and we're just gonna probably just play the young lads, play the players who haven't really played, and just get back to the general fitness. We should win by four or five nil, but. We'll have to wait and see what happens. And then we go away to Austria. It's going to look like a good trip for Newcastle United. Two trips away, which I think is really, really good for the club. It gets you, I think, having time away. It'll bring the squad close. I think it'll help Botman, Nick Pope, and all the lads get closer together, even though they are, we are such a tight group at the minute. It'll help going away. So we're going to Austria to play 1860 Munchen and Mainz on Friday the 15th and Monday the 18th of July. I'll be doing videos for them, but on... On the 18th of July I'm going on holiday so I'll not be able to do any videos for the Benfica match and there'll probably be a week missing from um, this little series we will be doing but um, I can't do much about that I'm going away with the boys um, so that's that and the day I return from holiday is the same day we play Benfica I cannot wait for that game we've got some good pre-season games we've got Benfica and then obviously I'm going to speak about the Atlanta and Bilbao game with the ticket information and whatnot now but Benfica is a really really good game it'll be a really good test for the lads it'll really show because obviously Benfica got the to the quarterfinals of the round of 16 of the Champions League last season obviously got knocked out by Liverpool but they huffed and puffed and done really well in that competition. Obviously, Darwin Nunes done extremely well in the Champions League and in Liga Nos. He's obviously at Liverpool now. But um, obviously, we've got Atlanta and Atlético Bilbao coming up. Both games at home. Both games in James Park. Both games are up for um, tickets now. I wanted to sit in my see my season ticket seat for both the games. I am for the Atlanta game, but for the um, Bilbao game, I'm a little bit more behind than my seat. Um, my someone's up your seat for the. Um, Bilbao game but I've seen people complain about the ticket prices it is a bit hefty £35 but why are fans complaining you finally get this takeover happen you finally get the club being reunited again you should not be us if if Obviously, I'm still under 21, so I'm still paying a senior price. So only charge me 15 quid for the two tickets, which I absolutely would pay. Um, I can't see why fans can really complain. In my opinion, you, you cannot complain about that. You finally got what you've wanted, and then you complain about the price. Like you, for me, you can it. You really, really can it. So the bill, the, the for the first time I've ever seen in my Newcastle United history since being me, <laughs> I've never seen a queue outside them. Um, the box office in my life. I didn't see it me I've seen it on Twitter, but mad, absolutely mad um, to see how many fans are wanting to go to these like preseason games and whatnot. In Graft, I, I was I was in the queue for an hour. I went on my break, and an hour still, I was still on that queue waiting to get the tickets, but I got them secured and whatnot for them two home games. It will be interesting to see what happens, but we've got a good preseason in my opinion. From the games, you expect we're beat Gated, beat Munchen, beat Mainz. Give Benfica have a good game. It'll remind us a bit of when we played FC Port on the 80 19 season. We drew 0 0. And then Atlanta on the Friday night in the Atlantic Bilbao. It'll be a good test. We've got Champions League opposition to come up, come up coming up against which is um it's good for the football club to finally get some big tests and whatnot rather than playing like Burton Albion and 
Doncaster Rovers. No disrespect to them, but they're not Premier League standard to what we are, but got some good pre-season games coming up there. That's the ticket information for them two games. Make sure I get onto the website before they go out of sale because it looks like a sellout for both games. But um let's speak about transfer news and whatnot. So you would have seen on the channel the little reactions and whatnot. Botman, Nick Pope, and obviously Matt Target have all been announced as permanent signings this season. A really, really good start to the transfer window. One player who we've been linked with for a long time is um Musa Diaby, the right winger from um Bayer Leverkusen. He's looking like a player. And if we could pick him up for the money that they're asking for, I think it's a bit hefty. But him and Maxi would would it, it's like bread and butter. It's them two together. It's, it it would be a difference up there. He brings in quality. He, he's it would it would help the football club so much. I think he's he's got he's got a really good assist um, record on him in the Bundesliga. Help Wilson get some more goals. Help Maxi get some more goals. Help him get some more goals himself. Um, are we gonna get him? It for me, I don't think we will. But if we got Diaby, it would be it would be ridiculous. So we got Diaby, a straight out of competition, Wilton, and a new centre midfielder. 10, 10 out of the transfer window. We've got Botman, we've got a new goalkeeper, and we've got the left back that we wanted. So far, so good. We still need a striker. I think striker or winger. It's hard to say because you look at Wilson, good striker. I can guarantee you 15 goals in the Premier League if he stays fit. But if he gets injured for a couple of months, we've got Wood and Dwight Gale. You, we, if we're fighting for top top 10 next year, top seven, we cannot go up front with Chris Wood or Dwight Gale for some part of that season. You, you kind of you kind of play Max up front or whatnot. You need that out and out striker. When you keep Wilson fit, or if we're, if we're going to keep Wilson fit, make the winger the priority. If Wilson's a bit dodgy, we need to sign a striker. Obviously, you're, we're all on the news about Hugo Ekatike. Not interested in him any, anymore. Don't want a player who doesn't want to join the club. Don't want to join. Don't want a player who wants to join the club. He thinks he's too big for the club. Not for me. Not happening. Don't want to see him in Newcastle United if he's going to be like that with his agent and whatnot. Fair enough. You move on with your career, mate, and hopefully you have a good one. Obviously, the transfers came in. Botman's looking unreal there. All the announcement videos and whatnot. It's looking good. It's it's it's, it's looking good for Newcastle. It, um, obviously, training's continuing. Um, we're waiting to see Bruno back in training. Obviously, they've been on, been on international duty. We're waiting to see some of them players back, like Miggy. He's been at national duty. But it's good to see the lad, lads back. Obviously, you've got like your Joe Willis. Dan Burns, all the lads who got that break off um, after the after the Burnley match, they've had type of chill. Now they're back on the grind, and it's going to be looking like an interesting one going into next season. First time in a long time where I'm really excited for next season. Obviously, I'm, you always get excited for the new season, but like it's actually it, it's it's gone quick as well. Went to July already. Like the season is um the season nearly ended. Like it was like five six weeks ago. It it went quite quite quick. So hopefully, we can get even quicker so we can get that Nottingham Forest game and hopefully have a good one. That's the first week of the NFC news video, boys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would mean a lot if you could do so. I'll see you all for videos coming up on the channel. I'm going to try and get as much done as possible. But I'm just very busy at the minute, as I've said in videos before. But see you in the next one, boys. Have a good one and up the mags.